Hello, welcome to My Easy Statistics. In this video, we will be discussing about multi group analysis, part 3 model comparison. In part 1, we discussed about multi group analysis, drawing structure equation model, and in part 2, we have discussed about significant difference between multiple groups using pairwise comparison, critical ratios of differences. Now the same analysis will be done using model comparison. Now in model comparison, I am going to develop two models, create two models and compare which model is correct and which model is not correct. So this is what we are going to do with model comparison. Okay, here we are going to discuss apart from multiple group analysis, how to even draw multiple, create multiple models also. So in SPSS AMOS, we will be having by default a model. Okay, now I am going to create one more model. In the first model, I am going to have one constraint and in the second model I will be having another constraint. Let me do it. <clears throat> so to create multiple models, first we will click on default model. Now let me name it as model A. And I want to create a new model. We are going to say new. Now we got model name as model number 2 I want to name it as B model now close it now we can see I have model A here and model B next now I want to maintain one constraint before I start a constraint what I want to check is for male I have M as a label for female, I have F as a label, right? So job experience on annual income for male is equal to job experience estimate on annual income for female. This is what is a constraint which I want to keep in model A. Okay, so let me go for model A. Again, double click on the model A. Let me take F is equal to M what it mean to say in model A I have job experience for male will be equal to job experience for female I am keeping a constraint so this is a constraint which I have okay and for B model I don't have any constraint I am not going to maintain any constraint Okay, now I am going to do the analysis, just go for analysis part, say proceed with the analysis and I want to go for output, see job experience for male on annual income is 0.68. For female, it is 0 0.6. So what I am saying in model A, they are equal. And model B, I don't have any constraint. Means they may be equal, they may not be equal. Okay. So I want to do model comparison. I go for view text. In view text, we have model comparison. Click on model comparison. Now when I click on model comparison, system says assuming model B to be correct. This is the result for model A. So we need to check only this P value. That is P value in our case is 0 0.836. So if you assume model B is correct, that is both are equal. Is model A correct or not correct? That is what we are going to check. Okay. So what is the decision rule is? In model comparison, if 
assume if model A is correct or I will just say like the same thing. B is correct. If P value is greater than 0 0.6 then model A is also correct. So this is what we can say here. Assume if model B is correct. If P value is greater than 0 0.6 then model A is also correct. So what we are having in model A that female and male both estimates are equal that will be correct. So if model assuming model B is correct now since P value is greater than 0 0.6 model A is also correct. It means there is no difference between model A and model B means if male and female estimates are equal or they are not being made equal there is no difference in the model. So this is my conclusion. Just I summarize once again what I have said in this video. I want to test whether the estimates of male and female is equal or not. So for which I have developed two models, model A and model B. In model A, I have made a constraint that estimate of male is equal to estimate of model uh, male estimate of male is equal to estimate of female and in model B I have not maintained any constraint and when I go for comparison and uh, in this if you go for model comparison we can read this as assuming model B to be correct model A is also correct. Why? Because P value is greater than 0 0.6. So model B means there is no difference. Model A means there is a difference. Both are correct in the sense that there is no difference of estimate of male and female. I wish this is informative and useful for analysis. Thank you.